in the last video we have done up to this finding value of discharge through the density meter i said in that video value of h is given by differential youtube manometer how we can calculate the value of h so how to calculate h we have h equal to x times s h minus this h in suffix s naught minus 1 where s is the specific gravity of heavy liquid and s naught is the specific gravity of the liquid flowing in the pipe this is for if manometric fluid is heavy If manometric fluid is heavy fluid, we have this. If manometric fluid is lighter, h equal to x1 minus s l minus s naught. Sl is the specific gravity of lighter liquid in the manometer, and s naught is the specific gravity of the liquid going through the pipe. So we, we have to verify how this formula came. So we will do only one this in derivation and we can do similarly for for second so first of all construct a benzene meter here i will make horizontal benzene meter This is section 1 and this is section 2. Section 1 indicate inlet and section 2 indicate throat. And let inlet is con inlet and outlet are connected to a manometer, differential manometer. Differential let differential manometer contain the heavy liquid, say mercury. The difference of level of mercury, let this is X. And this is the datum. Let this height be as not, and let height of the inlet, center of the inlet, be Z1, and this height of the throat, Z2. So we write here. We assume some variables. We write here S H is the specific gravity of liquid in differential manometer. That is, is it is heavy liquid. So we write S H. If the manometer differential due to manometer contain lighter liquid, then we write S L. In this case, we write S H. Here specific sp dot gravity gra dot of liquid in differential manometer s not is the specific gravity of liquid flowing through this density meter or pipe
let this x is the difference of heavier liquid in YouTube. Difference of heavier liquid column in YouTube. Now we apply manometric equation. The pressure at this inlet must be equal to the pressure at this throat section. So we have pressure at section 1 P1. We assume this P1 plus weight density of the liquid at this is gamma naught. This Z1 minus S naught, this S naught here to here. We need this height. The pressure at this point must be equal to this point. The pressure at this point is P1 and gamma naught times Z1 minus S naught. This must be equal to the pressure at this point. Let pressure at throat is P2 plus we have to calculate this height. gamma naught times z2 minus s naught minus x plus the pressure due to this side x gamma h into this x If we divide this equation by gamma naught, we have P1 upon gamma naught plus this under dividing with gamma naught, we have Z1 minus S naught equal to P2 upon gamma naught plus Z2 minus S naught minus X plus gamma H upon gamma naught into x this z1 and z2 are on the same level and same height so this get cancel out this as not as not cancel so we have p1 upon gamma naught minus p2 upon gamma naught equal to we have these two remaining minus x gamma s upon gamma naught into x if we take x as common we get gamma s minus upon ga gamma naught minus 1 into this x so this is the difference in pressure head s or in place of gamma naught we can write rho into g rho g is this is equal to gamma rho is the density of liquid and g is the acceleration due, due to gravity that is weight density so this is h this is equal to x times gamma h upon gamma naught minus 1 gamma is equal to gamma of any liquid equals to gamma of water into specific gravity so we use this here we get 
gamma h means gamma water into specific gravity of AB liquid is gamma naught gamma water into specific gravity of liquid minus 1 this this get cancelled out therefore we have h equal to x times s s minus s naught minus 1 here we are at the result this is the value of differential head we get through the manometer fitted with the densimeter